So this machine can repair OLED screens that have bad lines in them using a laser. So this is the future of OLED repair. This is super high tech, brand new machine, barely hit the market. What they're doing here is looking for broken traces in the OLED construction. These are broken ones. And these are formed with a laser originally at the factory, yeah, yeah. right? So we're using the same laser they used to construct these when they cut this out of a big sheet of OLED. We're gonna use the same laser to fix them. But we just know it's a laser and it's not like normal laser. So yeah, yeah, he can yeah. go through the first layer of the OLED. That's incredible. But he will stop in the, in the middle, you know, like where you have to, you have a good idea where is where the broken line is, but you still have to find it. I mean, it's still a manual repair process. Yeah, at yeah, the end yeah. of it. This is the first generation. Right, of course. So it's going to get better and it's going to get better at lightning speed here. You have to make sure first that the flex is OK. Right, because sure, of course. The of course, the flex is broken. It's because of the same problem, because it's the same data lines. So you have to make sure. But that one's easier okay. to fix. We already yeah. know how to fix yeah. that. And yeah. if we cannot, we can fix the last step is to change the flex. Oh, yeah, of course. You don't have to remove anything except maybe the front glass. So one of the things here is that you're doing this with the screen on, with the screen <laughs> which on. is crazy. One, you know where the issue is. And then two, you know when you fixed it. It will literally change in front of your eyes, yeah. which is yeah. magic. Yeah. 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 Changing a lamp with the electricity is still working. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly, with the switch so, on. You see, you find some yep. line broken. Oh my God, okay. So, uh, this machine is used to, when you don't have to fix the OLED panel, you just have to change the flex. So, so it just, it took the tear off the flex, and then yep. it will press a new one. We first uh, have to correct the, the flex with the glass. Yeah, line it up. Very nice. Beautiful. So this is the hard oil in one. Yeah. The hard oil in is uh, is easy to fix because we don't have this kind when it's bonding. You know, to, it's not a flexible. If the glass is 100% okay, we don't see any water damage or something, we just yep. change the flex and it's working. And then the ACF is anastropic conductive film. I use that in the RFID video. It's a very interesting adhesive that when you bond it using heat and pressure, it only conducts in the vertical direction yeah. uh, using yeah. really microscopic balls of, uh, of metal. Yeah. It's, it's very, very cool. You put ACF down across all of the pins and then when you bond it, you don't have to worry about it conducting between yeah, pins. Yeah, it only yeah. conducts vertically There's between no the two. It's such a yeah, clever yeah, yeah. technology. So this is the hard one, and this is the soft one. The soft one which we actually can bend. The hard one, the, the bending flex point has to be in the front. So we have to attach the flex in the front and yeah. then bend it to the other side. So the actual part which is bending over, it's just the flex. And then when you put it like that, these two edges, very easy to get yeah. dirty or to get water damage or to get broken yeah but the soft one the actual glass like bending over to the other side you don't have the edges because they can cut it nicely with the with the hard one you have to cut it sharp like so it's two different like technologies you can look on the edges you know basically we're just waiting for that line to go away he's, he's just preparing trace by trace by trace until that line disappears we have two sides of the flex. Maybe it's broken here. So we try to repair it here, but no luck. To reach the another side, we have to take off the glass yeah. and yes. then we will try again. So this, this process is pretty standard. We see this in the markets all the time. That's a hot pad with some suction to hold the glass down. And then they just saw between the cover glass and the, the OLED screen with a, a very thin metal wire, a steel wire. Right now, he's just removing the, the OCA, the optically clear adhesive. It's the, the adhesive that binds the glass to the, the front of the OLED screen. Um, and it's just, it, optically clear means that it has the same like diffraction index as the glass, so you can't see it.
Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. That's pretty much like magic. <laughs> That's unbelievable. And now you can bend the flex and the, the line won't come back. So the flex was broken in this point and then we fixed it. And now, even you press, the problem won't come back. Because we fixed the actual lines that's inside so the LCD panel, you know? That's so crazy. That's so crazy. So this is not the part that's bonded on. No. It's actually it. the OLED the itself. The OLED panel itself. And, and that's what has the problem. Yeah. You were telling me last night, this is part, also part of the manufacturing process. It's part of the manufacturing process. So explain that part. The real OLED is like big sheets, yeah. you know, of OLED. Like television yeah, size. Yeah, like television yeah. size, right. even yeah. bigger. Sure. And then they have like this kind of laser, but of course it's automatic, like, you know, sure. not by hand. And you just have to cut the glass by laser and sure. that's it. But the drawing. But they're actually drawing traces by this kind in of the OLED yeah. substrate with this, kind of laser. With yeah, this yeah, laser. And so, so this just, laser is really just replicating what they do when yeah, they yeah. first make the OLED. Yeah. So just retrace. It's so smart. This is what I love about Hua Shang Bei and Hua Shang Nan. I love about the cell phone markets and the cell phone repair industry. It's so innovative. There's just everybody's on this mission to fix more phones, yeah, fix yeah, more screens, yeah, yeah, come up with better ways, cheaper ways of doing things. You're in the LCD business. What's your impression after seeing this? This is the last problem which we can't repair, you know, yeah. till last year. And uh, this year, yeah. when this machine cut out, we officially can fix any problem in LCD. You know, we lines, except when it's broken, we can fix anything. How many screens are there out there like this that have this problem? Lots of screens, which uh, everybody like threw away, you know, because it's line. You, yeah. you cannot fix. Sometimes they will change the flex, the line will go, but sometimes they will change the flex and line still on the screen. Sure. So they will just throw it away. How much it. money are, are people with this machine going to make? Lots of money. Yeah, I think Tons so. Of money. Tons I of money. think this machine pretty much prints money at this you point. You basically take screen like which no one can fix yeah. and you fix it by yourself. But the thing is like after you fix it, yeah. you will put a new glass on it and nobody will know when you. Well, and it's not a problem. It's, it's as problem. good as new. This is water damage. It's a kind of corrosion, you know? Yeah, sure. So the lines inside the glass. Well, that, that doesn't look fixed. It just doesn't look that beautiful, but it's fixed. It's not like when sure. you're welding, it looks like a black and not beautiful, sure, yeah, but yeah. it's welded. As long as it sticks. This one is the laser. original lines. This one when you throw the laser. You see? Oh, right there? Yeah, this point. Yeah, okay. This point. So when you draw the laser, some because this one is made of copper, so it will become like kind of black. Like and oxidized the, or something, yeah. Dark, yeah. When you got the problem, the first thing you have to do is you have to check that it's not broken and it looks like new. You have to take out the back side and check for the glass if you have water damage. If you have water damage, you can just check with this machine. You don't have to fix. When you saw <coughs> there is water damage, you will fix it, of course. Yeah. If there is no water damage, it means this glass is 100% okay. You just have to change the flex. So before we have this machine, we just change the flex. Maybe you have 100 pieces, we just change 100 pieces. After this, we have maybe 80 pieces working. And the rest, we can fix. Yeah. Just take out the flex and move to the new LCD, yeah? But now, we don't have to change. We just, we can look. And we just inspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now maybe 100 screens, we can fix 100. And this is how you make money in the cell phone repair business. Not by changing screens one by one. By being able to repair 100 out of 100 screens you touch. The guys that do screen refurbishing, they make real money. That one, when you, when we fixed right now, this panel is actually inside, is the middle layer. Before we had these machines, we have to take everything off. And then the screen is like become like, it's original one, but we already changed the glass and we already changed, we don't really need to change the glass, but we don't have another option. We have to take it off. But now, when we don't have to change the flex anymore, we just take out this little bit, you know, just, just the corner. We fix it, put it again, and it's like new. This is magical technology. It's, it's gonna it's gonna be a real game changer yeah, for yeah. for screen refurbishing. To be clear, screen refurbishing is a big, big business. Industry. This is gonna change change things a lot. Yeah. And the people that have these machines now are gonna make a lot of money in the next I don't know six months, something Maybe. like that. When we go smaller, I think we will also affect the quality of the machine. It's go weaker and go sure, cut yeah. the cost, and you you make it fit. Of course. So yeah. then we'll see variety and quality yeah, of repairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, you see the NG. Yeah. yeah, this is a broken screen, but we still can use the flex on it because yeah. the flex is okay. So we can take two screens, one of them the LCD panel is broken, another one the flex is broken, we just swap it and 
we have one walking without any cost. You don't have to buy the new flex because you can take from this one, from the broken one. If you would like one of these machines, uh -huh. you should talk to my friend Schwan here yeah. of the infamous Tool Brothers. You've been yes, in other yes, videos. Yes, yes, And you can hook people up with one of these yes, machines? Yes, I can have one, okay. I can have one. Yes, How much yes. does one of these cost? 85,000, yeah, yeah. 85,000 RMB, yes, so yes. like 15,000 USD. So I will put your contact information uh -huh. down in the video description. Yes, and you can go nice. talk to him if you want yeah. one. He's a really good guy. I believe in him. I've known him for years and years. Yeah, he speaks good, some good. English and uh, he's a total hustler, so he'll, he'll hook you up. This video is sponsored by The Logistics of X, a show diving into the complex but largely invisible systems we often take for granted. What does it take to get a ski area up and running for opening day? How does fresh fish get from the ocean to your plate? How does a search and rescue team aid stranded hikers on a glacial peak? You should also totally check out the exclusive video from Breaking Taps about electroplating diamond coatings for CNC glass machining. Or come with me on a one hour in-depth behind the scenes tour of my workshop. Or if you watched Jetlag, the hit game show played by Traveling the World where I was the guest this season, as we play a 96 hour game of Capture the Flag across Japan, you might want to listen to The Layover, an exclusive podcast where we discuss the strategy and behind the scenes of every episode. I mean, it kind of is normal Capture the Flag in a way. It's just normal Capture the Flag, just you're tagging with phones and you're on metros slash Jenkinsons. All of these things have something in common. You can watch them exclusively on my streaming service, Nebula. We have some of the best creators you already know and love, like Real Engineering, Wendover Productions, Half is Interesting, and Real Life Lore. Nebula is a streaming service built by creators for creators. And because we don't have to worry about finding sponsorships or appeasing the algorithm, there are no ads. Our only focus is to make the best content for you, the viewer. When you sign up using my link, I actually get a portion of your subscription fee for life for as long as you stay a subscriber, which gives me predictable monthly income that's not affected by the ebbs and flows of ad rates, which allows me to confidently invest in making more videos like this one and make them even bigger and cooler. And here's the best part. If you use my link, you'll get 40% off an annual subscription, which comes down to as little as $2.50 a month. So it's a great deal for you too. So click the link in the description and thank you in advance for your support.